Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you 3 common mistakes beginners make when learning how to speed ramp videos. Lately I've seen a lot of tutorials on Instagram about speed ramping and to be honest, some of them are just plain wrong. It's clear that a few creators don't fully understand what they're teaching. Many of these videos are made just to get views because this kind of content performs well in reels. So in this video, I want to clear things up, point out the mistakes and show you how to do it the right way. The first and probably the biggest mistake I've seen on Instagram is, someone was showing how to speed ramp a clip and the very first thing they did was enable frame blending before even starting the speed ramp. If you're doing it this way, stop right now. Let me explain why this is wrong and I'll also show you exactly what happens when you do it that way. Let's enable frame blending first and try to preview the video. As you can see the preview is extremely laggy. Yes the quality is set to full, but that's not a problem for a CPU like mine. Now let me turn off frame blending and play it again. And there you go, the preview is much smoother and it even renders faster. Always enable frame blending after you finish speed ramping your clips. If you turn it on before, your video will get really laggy and it'll be hard to see what you're actually editing. Let me explain you what frame blending does if you are new in AE. Frame blending helps make your video look smoother when you change the speed of a clip. It creates extra frames between the original ones, either by blending them together or using motion to guess the missing parts. When frame blending is on, After Effects has to calculate those extra frames, especially during playback or rendering. This takes more power from your computer, so the preview becomes laggy or slow. So now you know that it's better to finish speed ramping your clip first and only then enable frame blending. I honestly don't know why some people keep sharing wrong information especially for beginners. Either they don't fully understand how After Effects works, or they just opened it for the first time and are trying to go viral on Instagram by posting misleading tips. Let's move on to mistake number two. I also saw this on Instagram and I was honestly shocked, they were speed ramping videos without explaining anything. Let's Let's enable time remapping. One of the creators showed that you should just set a keyframe at the beginning and end of the clip, then drag those keyframes forward or backward until you like the result. Please don't be that guy and stop doing it like that. If your clip is 30 seconds long, you'll end up speeding up the entire video, even if you only want to ramp a specific part. Here's the right and faster way to do it, just drag the time indicator to where you want the clip to start. Then scroll forward to the moment where the next beat drop is and move the time again to adjust the ending. That's it. This way you control exactly which part gets speed ramped without touching the rest of the clip. Never drag the keyframes around. Just create new ones by adjusting the time, exactly like I showed you. It's faster, more accurate and gives you better control. And now let's move on to mistake number 3, and this one was honestly the most annoying. I saw a reel about it and couldn't believe what they were showing. Mistake number 3 is all about the curve in the graph editor, the key element that makes your speed ramp smooth and natural. Choosing the right curve and adjusting it properly is what gives your edit the clean flow. But one creator made such a huge mistake with it, it honestly blew my mind. If I were the owner of Instagram, I'd probably block him for that alone. Always make sure to set the graph type to edit value graph when working with speed ramps. Yes, you can use the edit speed graph, but it's only useful in very specific situations or certain types of videos and even then, it's rarely necessary. For smooth and clean speed ramps, the edit value graph is all you really need. The edit speed graph is more limited, while the edit value graph gives you advanced control and precision, making it the better choice for professional looking speed ramps. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.